Right, good morning everybody. This morning for our art session we're going to start making our daffodils. Make sure you've got all the right equipment first. We need a piece of cardboard, some white paper, an egg box, something to put your paint in. I've got a paint palette but you could use some old yoghurt pots or some old glass Pops, anything at home that you've got some colored paint we definitely need some green you will also need some blue and definitely some yellow and then you could use some other colors because we're going to try doing a bit of shading as well and then we need some things to used to put the paint on the card and the paper and I've got some tissue here because we're going to do a bit of dabbing I've got a thick looks like a shaving brush I've got a paint brush that you would paint the walls with a normal paint brush and also in this pot I've got some cotton wool okay so if you're ready the first thing we need to do, separate your egg box like this and then we need to cut off some of the individual egg cases. If you're struggling with this, see if somebody will help you because it is a bit stiff as I'm having trouble here. There we go. Okay, so you should end up with six like this and that's going to be the centre of your 3D daffodils. That's going to be the middle bit that's called the trumpet. What colour do you think the trumpet of the daffodil has to be? Do you think it's going to be white, blue or yellow? So the right answer is it's going to be yellow. I'm going to put some yellow paint in here. And for this one, I'm going to use the thick paintbrush. But any paintbrush will do. And we just need to cover the whole of the egg carton in yellow. On the outside and on the inside as well so it's completely covered everywhere as much as possible in yellow can be a bit messy because you've got to hold it when it's wet so you might get a bit of yellow on your fingers that's okay we can wash it off there we go there's mine all painted yellow and my yellow hands Next, we're going to take our piece of card. It can be any size, slightly larger than A4. And this, we're going to try and cover in blue. But it doesn't matter if it's not covered completely. And this is where we're going to experiment a bit. So we're going to use different things. I'm going to start off by using some tissue. And I'm just going to dab the blue on like this and what I'm trying to do is I want the card covered but it doesn't have to be completely covered okay if there are some gaps that's okay I'm going to add a bit of white so we're going to try a bit of shading now I'm just mixing it up so we get a bit of different colours coming in a bit more blue I'm going to try something else I think I'm going to go for some cotton wool okay I'm going to put, just put that straight in the blue dabbing all the time 
I'm going to also try a bit of white now, just plain white. There we go. Okay, that's looking nice. Now, let's try my paintbrush. And for this, I think I'm going to swirl some blue on the card. There we go. Okay, so there's my swirly blue. I'm going to take my thick paintbrush. Dab it hard. Now let's try another colour. Let's put in a bit of purple. There we go. And I'm going to get a bit more tissue. And put just a little bit more white on over the purple, over the blue, just dabbing all the time to mix the colours up. Okay, so there's my blue background. You can see it doesn't cover the whole card. There's still bits of brown showing through. That's okay. We want that effect, so that's good. Now we're going to come on to the white paper. I've just got strips of white paper here, but you could use your white paper from the computer, the A4 paper. Any white paper you've got at home really doesn't matter what the size of it is because once this has dried, we're going to cut things out anyway. Now this, we need green for. There we go. There's our green. And this is going to be the stems and the leaves of the daffodils. And again, we're going to try different shades of colour. Just going to pour the green out. There we go, there's the green. I'm going to put some white in the section next to it. Okay, now I think I'm going to start with the cotton wool this time. Let's start with the pure green. Dab it in. And again, we're just going to dab. We're not going to paint. We're not going to colour the whole piece of paper. We're just going to dab the green on like this. Makes an interesting effect look. So can you see so far, this is what we've done with the cotton wool. Okay. Now... With a bit more cotton wool, I'm going to try the white coming in on top of the green and just making the green a bit lighter. Now, I think I might add a tiny bit of blue. There we go. Bit of clean cotton wool. There we are. Let's go again. Dab it on. Now, should we try the thick paintbrush now? Let's see what colour that gives us. There we go. Again, just dabbing it on like this. Oh, yes, I like this. Right. <clears throat> so you're going to end up with something that looks a bit like this. And can you see there are gaps in it? It's not completely covered in green, but also we've got different shades. We've got a bit of purple, a bit of white showing through, lighter green and darker green. And we just need all of this to dry next week. We've got lots and lots of cutting out to do. So we need lots of time and a good pair of scissors and maybe somebody who can help you. And we're going to have to cut out some leaves and some stems. And then we're going to glue our 3D daffodils onto our piece of card. 
Okay, have a good week, everyone. Bye-bye.